What is up, guys? <clears throat> Video game Jam Poop again, back with more Banjo Kazooie. And in the last episode, we have tackled Bubba Gloop Swamp, and we've apparently missed the jiggy, but I've got it now. Uh, from the last episode, of course, at the end. In this episode, we're gonna go through Freeze Easy Peak, so let's uh, go. <laughs> I was just sliding in there, wow. Now, this place. The peak's got another new move waiting for you. You can find it. Yeah, I'll try and find it, bottle boy. Right. <laughs> My stomach aches. I should have eaten that shiny thing so and help Boggy. Yes, we gotta help uh, Boggy. His name is. He's like a polar bear. He, he kind of looks like Banjo a bit, but polar bear instead. And this is the first thing I do in Freeze Easy Peak. Twinklies. Now, I've got... The, there's a best glitch you can do here. So these munchers, attack the first one, and then just stand on the box. Or here. Although I recommend here. And then just send them off screen. And they'll never get eaten. But if you're doing this properly, you will have to kill the munchers while they go through. But that's hard, of course. And you don't really want to do that if you want to do this quick. So, right now I'll do it properly. Yay! Crunchy and tasty. Right, they should all go away. Yeah, there we go. But that is how you're supposed to do it. There we go. But the the munchers don't really die, so they come back. So. Well, in the challenge, at least. So, yeah. There's another move we can do. Time for some aerial action with my devastin beast. Nice one, goggles. Tell me more. When you're flying. <laughs> Alright. So, this one is kind of useful as well. Not only you can attack enemies with it, you also speed up a lot. You've learned all peaks moves. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Alright, I need to go behind the tree. Alright. Said we need to go behind the tree first, so then, um, so then we can, um, so then we can get a, um, so we can get a, um, a jiggy while we're flying after we press a button behind here. So, right, we've got these ice cubes. All right, there we go. There we go. Right, there we go. Yippee! Be a star and you'll find your reward. Hurry! Alright. Now I just gotta. Get it. Yep. No! Banjo! There we go. We gotta fly through that star right there. We. No, we cannot. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, but we gotta fly through it three times. It doesn't matter which way, of course. So, so you can go you can go in there and then out of there. So you can do it like that. And I can do other things while we're flying as well. Oh, banjo! What's wrong with you? Alright. Come on! Oh no! Not that banjo! Alright, there we go. Then we can get a jiggy inside. So that's what we can do now. Uh, another thing we can do with while we're still flying is kill these snowmen. I forgot the, what these were called. Um, I forgot what these were called. They're like snowmen, and then you just you just beak bomb their heads, and then boom, they're down. There's a present over there. And if I have enough um, feathers, I can actually. Um, um, go up the uh, snowman as well, the massive snowman. Uh, so, Ugh, okay, there we go. There we go. All right, now we can fly up. And then there's a jiggy up there. I'll try and get that now. Actually, we can try and get a 
off of a GD as well. And it involves... Hold on. Let's see if I can... It involves these buttons. We gotta press them a lot of times. There we go. And then we get another Jiggy, but he poops it out instead. So, that is two Jiggies. Alright, fly up. Okay, there we go. Right, there we go. These ice cubes. Okay. We kill that. Kill that as well. Then I'm gonna get these notes and then we don't have to go on top of this hat again. So that's a good thing. But we can also do a few things while we're still on the snowman. Uh, not only get these eggs, we don't really need to get those eggs. We can go on this, his brush here. And boom, we got another, we got a blue Jinjo there. Oh yeah, that's another thing that the Xbox Live Arcade is good at as well. Uh, keeping your gingers, because in the N64 it's not just notes you have to get again, it's the gingers as well. So, that's another good thing about the Xbox version. Right. Go in the snowman's pipe. No, no, no. Not the sea pipe, oh god. Okay. Right, that's why I always called it, believe it or not. But, um, but I realised what what it actually is. I always thought it was loads, but no. I won't explain it. I won't, I'm not gonna uh, say the actual word, but still, I think you'll get it. Oh, I think that's how you actually get on top of the uh, snowman, uh, for real. Okay, uh, I need to... I need to go here. Oh no! Alright, I need to go on top of here. There we go. We can get a Mumbo token and a Jiggy. Hit Boggy. Oh, that's better. Hey, you found my sled. I'll go ahead and practice. Okay. We'll practice going sleigh riding. Oh, the jig is there. <laughs> and we can get a few feathers here as well because I definitely, definitely need them. Right. We've got a present as well. Oh, God. Now, I won't go in the Christmas tree yet, because this music is very cool, with jingles. Uh, and if after you get the jiggy from the tree, the jingles are gone, so... That'll be unfortunate for some of you. Jiggy. The snowman's poop. So we... And, and, and Kazooie literally ate the snowman's poo. Oh my god. That's disgusting, Kazooie. Unless it's a healthy thing for birds, I don't know. Like a different species poop or something, I don't know. We'll have to see, we'll have to find out one day. Alright. Right, I'll do a few other things before going to that Christmas tree. Go here. Alright, there we go. We'll climb up the snowman's scarf, shall we? Kill these ice cubes as well. There we go. Collect that ice cube. There we go. We'll climb up his scarf. We also get a few more feathers as well. Not just notes, but also feathers. We need a lot of feathers here. Well, not a lot, but I mean, but enough to um, actually uh, finish this. So. Okay, there we go. One, two, three. And then we need to fall down somewhere. Oh no! No, nope. all right. I need to fall down somewhere, so we'll fall down here. Oh no! Right, yeah, that's what fall damage is like. At least we have we had a lot of lives though, so we are safe there. At least. 
There's another honeycomb piece there. There we go. Not only there's another flight pad, but also behind here, there's a ginger! Ginger! There's uh, notes in this. It's cold water, so meaning you're not really, you shouldn't really be. You can't swim in this, so meaning the underwater version theme for Free CC Peak is unused in this game. It does exist, but it's not used in the game. So meaning uh, it's unused. So. Uh, Alright. Let's get that present over there. Now, I should not die here, because if I do, then I have to do that. I think I have to do that Christmas tree thing again. I don't know, though. I believe I do. So I'll have to, uh... In fact, I'll do the Christmas tree now. Look at that. There we go. Alright, we can get the mumbo token behind there as well. Wow, we're getting a lot of mumbo tokens. Right, I'll get that present on the way down. There's more notes there, and then there's more feathers, and then eggs, I believe, yeah. And then the Jiggy is literally in the middle right there. There we go. Sounds like he, I sound like I'm gulping when I do that. Alright, and then go down here to get some red feathers. I need more of those. In fact, we don't need more now because we've got the maximum amount. Alright, there we go. And then the uh, notes right here. Alright, there we go. Okay, there we go. Take me to the kids. Alright. Oh yeah, he is the last one, yeah, because I've got the first one there, and then the other one on the side, and then... Yeah, okay, so... And we hit this grunt silver switch, and we got... We got the final countdown! <laughs> no, not really. Uh, well, I guess it is the final countdown of the, um... Of, of the Banjo-Kazooie advent calendar. <laughs> That's so funny. Alright, um... Next, I need to get those notes over there. Oh, and that, um, uh, mumbo thingy, um, right, this is what I'll do, get those notes there, right, and then, we'll go up here, I can get, uh, the mumbo thing here, just right there, there we go, then I can go to mumbo stuff right here, oh, and an extra life, perfect. Even though it does not, it does not save your lives, unfortunately. So that's why I'm back to four. Well, I was back to three, but now four. This time there are notes up here, and a Jinjo. And one more Jinjo is located somewhere. So okay, right, there we go. Just pay mumble skulls and then boom. And we're a walrus this time. A walrus. Depends on gone all fat. Yeah, true, because walruses are fat. So, yeah. Get that turn. Right, we need to go this way. Now, this is how... I believe this is how you're supposed to get the um, the notes. I guess you could also use the wading boots as well. That's how you would get on the other side as well. But I did it differently, so... <laughs> is that feather inside? Wow, I think it was. That's interesting. Alright, and then here, get more notes around here. Get more notes around here, and no. Hey, Mr. Walrus, fancy a race? Alright, yeah, we just jump on here, and then... Great, now all you need to do is steal your sled through the red slamming gates. Got it? Three, two, one, go! Yeah. Now, this one's- this is not too hard, but unless you're playing the randomizer, this can be very difficult. So, yeah. But yeah, besides the randomizer, this is not really hard at all. Like, I'll probably rarely even lose this. 
Alright. But you just gotta go through these, uh, those red slam, uh, slalom, or slalom, uh, gates. Even though they're not even gates. And I always think jumping makes you slightly faster. I don't know if that's true, though. I'm going, like, the same speed here. Oh, no. Alright. Get out of my way, sir. Right. But I think I do go faster when I go up a ledge and I jump. Oh, there are the last notes. Alright. Alright, there we go. First try. And he pushed me, too. Oh, you're so quick for me, Mr. Walrus. Here's your medal. I reckon I need to race this all on my own size. <laughs> okay. You get that jiggy right here. And, and an extra life there. And an, an invincibility uh, feather there. Then here, the Waza. Whoa, another Walrus. Take this, but watch out for a smelly brown bear and its ugly bird. Buddy, I think it's set there. Now let's go in his cave, shall we? In Waza's cave. Here we go. Right here. Why, hello again, Mr. Morris. Feel free to have a look around. Waza's cave. Does that mean it's your house then, I guess? It sounds like your house. <laughs> okay. We got another honeycomb piece. We got all of them there. There's an ice cube that you cannot kill. Alright. Let's go around here. Ooh, one more egg and we have a hundred. Wow. Let's just keep jumping. Alright. Then there's another ginger there, but you cannot get it with the walrus. But you can come back here with Banjo. If you try to enter this with Banjo first, uh, Waza will just block you, so you won't be able to go through. Um, let's collect those notes. We got 100 notes! We got 100 notes, everyone! Yay! Oh, and there's a Mumbo token there as well. I'll get that egg as well. There we go, we got 100 eggs! <coughs> I could have gotten one of those ones, actually, but, yeah, it doesn't matter. Save it. Right. <coughs> oh, ugh. Coughs. Oh, my God. Alright, there we go. Get in there. Then... Wake up, Mumbo! Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up! Turn me back! And Banjo is back to normal. And there is no secret with the walrus when you go to Gruntola's lair. So, so you're okay with that. In all other worlds, there is uh, either a Cheeto or or something else, like getting a Jiggy. Which is the case with the first one and the last one. Or the last transformation, at least. Oh yeah, we cannot... Now, there is another boggy race, but you cannot do it yet. Well, I guess you can, but... But it's impossible. So, so to make it possible, you have to come back later. But thankfully, Jiggies are always saved on N64, so... So say you missed another Jiggy, you can come back for it. Or is it? Yeek, the bear again! Take that noise and I'll with you. Was are alone. <laughs> and that secret place there? That's where the ice key is. Bam, bam. Stop and swap ice key. But, except I've already got it already. Uh, your stop and swap items are permanently collected. Even if you, like, delete your save file or go on a different save file, you still have your stop and swap items. They're saved across your entire, like, game pack or entire Xbox save. See, Boggy's still there, but we cannot race him. So, yeah. Now, the last Jiggy we need to get are those presents. So, we've got the presents already, but then we need to take them to the Igloo, right here, in, in the start. Right. 
right, I, need, I want to go on top of there. There we go. Right, there we go. Give all presents and then. Got a jiggy on the table. No, you're not having it. You're ha no, you're not having it, children. It's my jiggy. It's not your dinner. No, that's kind of cool, though. Like, we give them presents, they give us a present, and it's a jiggy. So, yeah, that is a free CC peak for now. Okay. Okay. Uh, so now. Now let's get that, um. In fact, no, I cannot get that jiggy still. Um, that's on top of there now. Because it still requires that feather thing. So, yeah. And you have to fly above it, so. So I guess uh, we cannot get it all prepared. But we can go through this door. And open it up. And see what's in there. Alright. Alright, and then. Oh, I wanted to quick dive, but it don't matter. We're underwater. Oh, we have these fish enemies. That fish enemy does attack you. So you gotta be careful. And here you can find another painting that you can do. Well, not a painting, but another jigsaw puzzle you can do. So... get to the puzzle piece. There we go. Just use all jiggies and then boom. <laughs> I could tell there was about to talk, but she didn't do it. Mad Monster Mansion we've unlocked. So no, you won't find Luigi there. Alright. Right, thank god we didn't take damage. We can find another number token there. Uh, so, there we go. Good. There's nothing we can do in this part yet, so we could just get out of here, go through this hole again. Alright, now we can get out of here. There's nothing we can do there for now, so... But we can go down here. Let's go to Gobi's Valley. Because again, uh, I'll end my uh, Banjo Kazooie videos when I've uh, finished the. Um, uh, when I'm when I'm up to like thirty something or forty minutes. I was about to say hours then, but no. Uh, but when it goes to one of those minutes, then then I'll end it off. So, so Gobi's Valley, and you'll need one more move in the game here. So. So yeah, Gobi's Valley is a desert, as you can expect, because the hub, the hub world part of it, of Gruntilda's Lair, is also desert-themed. And as some of you may know, I don't really like deserts, but this one, I'll actually give a pass because it's really good. Alright, uh, then we can um, do some flying here. We'll fly through these things first. Go for it. Summon all the hidden rings of the ancients to beat the witch. What? Beat the witch up or something? I don't know. Gruntil was a woman, so I don't know. That would be a good idea. Come on, get in there. There we go. <laughs> and we can see the other one raising down. Apparently they just go back. Now, I think this is random 
on the save. I don't know if this is random on the save file or if it's different in the N64 version, but but still, um, still great. Right, there's one more right there. We've got to be careful with these enemies as well. Just there we go. Only joking, mortal. We can only give you this. Yeah, we, you, they will not help us beat the witch, but they can give us a jiggy, which may help find us to the witch. So, right, we'll get that uh, mumbo token up there. Got it. Then we'll get that. Uh, we'll get that uh, bottles uh, hill right here. Right here. There we go. It's the last move in the game. These are running shoes. Beaky, where's them? They're running away. In a limited time. Then, all energy. Well played, Banjo. You've now learned all the moves in the game. So that means there's no more moves to learn, guys. So, you've learned every move in the game. So, so that's good. So, meaning the remaining worlds will have no move learning. Uh, not even, there's not even secret ones. So, so that's a good thing. You don't have to go to Bottles Old Hills anymore, so. Oh god. Alright. Do this uh Kazooie target thing next. Oh, I almost had it. Come on, get it now. There we go. We gotta get down. go inside this pyramid. There we go. Right. Just pooping this a few times. Alright. Hello, my friend. I am Ruby. I can summon... <laughs> I, I can't read a lot because I, I'm speeding up the text so I can be fast. That's why. Right, that, come on. We have a snake there. Right, there we go. As the text box is going, I'll collect a few notes. Right. We've got now. Stand on there. There we go. And the snake will rise up. Uh, if you don't if you don't go on his head, you can also climb the snake as well. Uh, so that's cool. Alright, so we've got So we've got those notes. So we got everything in there, so that's good. Um, what should I do next? I know, I should do that, um, that Sphinx, massive Sphinx thing. Um, I forgot what his name was. I think it'll mention it. Um, nope, okay. in the nose. Nose all blocked up. Hey, uh, that tickles. Uh, I want to get those feathers as well. And then, one more egg. One more egg. In the nose. Oh, wait. Hold on. And then, <coughs> right. And then, there we go. He sneezes, and then, ah, uh, that clear Jinxie's nose. Jinxie, that's his name. That's it. Jinxie, the Sphinx. All right. All right. I'll get the carpet. Uh, first, right. Oh, it's just one egg in each of them. Okay. Oh, there's a Jinjo in the previous one. Oh, hold on, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. I just had a phone call, so that is. Yeah. All right, there we go. We've gone that over. Oh, there we go. So close. And then we go on this jigsaw. Right. Yes, we got it. Go. All right, and then we can go down here and get these notes right here, as well as that mumbo token right there. And I'm not gonna get all these eggs. Just, uh, 
Right, I need to get that Jinjo, uh, which you go on this carpet and then... And you... Okay, there we go. Alright, there we go. Oh, no! Alright. At least we got the Jinjo, though. Because if I would... If I would land on the carpet, then... I would definitely ground pound and then fall down there. Right. That Sphinx is out of the way. Jinxie, the Sphinx is out of the way. So now, let's do something. Oh no! What, what, where am I? Okay. Alright. I'm gonna fly. Oh god, I'm losing health! Oh god! Jesus Christ! Oh, we can get here easily. Right, Gobi right here. It's the camel right here. A weird looking camel. We've got to free him by ground pounding that and then. Is this your reward, bear? Gobi thump. Into a shade. I think it said that. I don't know. Now, where Gobi is next, he's actually at the start. So I'm going to die <laughs> and look at Banjo's uh, pee pee. And you get that text if you die the first time when it's not in the water. And there's Gobi! There he is! And we can go to him again, ground pound him, and then he'll share his spit with the tree, a uh, trunker. <laughs> Apparently they're gay. I don't know. And then, you get a jiggy on top of him. And then I can use those running shoes for the first time as well. Alright, come on. <laughs> yes, there we go. Okay, five jiggies. All right, then I can use those shoes. And you run faster, so meaning it's good. And then Gobi's on the other side there. All right, but first, but we'll do the other things now. All right, go. whoa, okay. All right, there we go. Get that to... Honeycomb switch thing here. And then, there is a honeycomb, empty honeycomb piece in that uh, cactus hole. So we need to fly through that in order to get there. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna make sure I don't die because it does not save, unfortunately. If you, do if you haven't collected it, of course. So we'll go in this pyramid next. In fact, I'll kill him. There we go. Because that mummy character thing will be annoying, so... And you gotta basically match a few items, so I think another egg was there. That's a music note. Mumbo. And I think that was a mumbo. No, it's a honeycomb, though. Which one's this one? There's a feather. Was that a feather? No, an egg! Right, so that's an egg. And then that's an egg, okay. Uh, these two right here are Jinjos. So the ginger is the easiest. Uh, that one is honeycomb. Then one of these is, is that one? No, that's banjo. Okay. Is it this banjo? No, that's the music note. It's that one. Music note. Yeah, there we go. Uh, feather. No, I think that was feather. No, that's banjo. Okay. We got banjo. And what's this one? Uh, honeycomb. Uh, I think it was. Is it this one? Yes. Mumbo, there we go. Wait, no, that's the feather! <laughs> I had got it wrong. I, I knew which one it was, though. Right, there we go. Kazooie, and then Kazooie, and then the feathers are right here. Right, there we go. Alright, there we go. Alright, there we go. Got that. So, now we're gonna- Whoa, okay. No! Oh my god, Banjo. B Banjo and Kazooie. Come on, no, 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 Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, okay. Alright, come on, no, 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 Okay, right, we'll get these notes around here. And then I'll do something else. Go up here next. 
done that pyramid already. We'll go down there next. Right. We'll do this uh, place next. Uh, get that mumbo token. Uh, we need the running shoes for this, though, so... Uh, so, we're gonna... We're gonna be very careful on this. Right, so here we go. One, two, three, go! We gotta be really fast with this. Right, there we go. So it's recommended you stand right there. You gotta go up there fast. On N64, you do have slight more time because of the long wait times for that, for some reason. But on Xbox, they fix that, so... So you either gotta do this twice or you gotta be very quick. Especially if you're collecting notes. Come on! Yes! First try! Got all notes as well. Right, there we go. And then we get that jiggy down there. And then. There we go. Oh, you censored Banjo's butt, the mummy there. Oh, come on. But, this raises the water there. Oh, that that uh, face there kind of looks like Mario a bit. There. there we go. Then we can get out of here. In fact, I'll get something else before we do the water part. And it also needs the running shoes. Uh, so, we use the running shoes here. There we go. Whoa, that was close. Then we go here. Go on that hand, and then you grab the jiggy. No! I had a thousand years! Well done, mortal! Okay. Okay, so that is Grabber. I think it's Grabber. I think its name is. Alright. I'm gonna collect these notes here. In the, uh... In the sand. In the hurtful sand. Hurting sand, I would call it. I don't know. What's the proper name for the type of sand that hurts you? I don't know. I forget. I don't even know at all. Alright. You can kill these enemies, of course. use that to go across the top. Oh, and these, these honey hives, you kill them because they have bees with them, uh, the bees will chase you then, and you'll probably take damage. Alright, uh, where's the first? Right, it's there. Alright, there we go. And it's three eggs on them. There we go! So then it raises slight of the pyramid. We're gonna go on the other side. I don't know if it's this next one or if it's the. There's the next one. Okay. All right. There we go. All right, and then the next one. <laughs> we can see Banjo and Kazooie there. Okay. We'll go in this next one, and then after that, I'll go in the water to get the notes and the Jinjo. Yeah, this is easier with the water, because if you fall in, then you can easily go back up. That's why I'd recommend the water. You can do this without the water, it's just a bit harder. So... Right, here we go. It's a quick dive. Quick dive. There we go! We did the quick dive there. Alright, um... Alright, so we've got a Mumbo token there. And then... Alright, we've got a blue Jinjo, so the purple Jinjo is inside that pyramid we just summoned, so... Alright. Right, I've got all notes there. I think so, yeah. I have. Alright. Alright, so next thing, we'll, um, alright, we'll, uh, we'll do that, well, we get those notes on the stairs, of course, and, whoa, okay. Okay, 
then go in the pyramid. This is King Sandy Bot's tomb. To the back of face with his wrath. Alright. Now you gotta be quick through this maze. So this is a maze. You gotta, you're on a time limit. You got one minute to do this. You gotta be very quick. Choosing the correct path. Now I know the path already. Now, but the other path takes you to a grunty switch. Which is right here. And it opens that door. So you can get the jiggy from there now. Oh, just eggs. Yeah, but we got there in like 40 sec seconds. So, then just go close to that and then you'll get a Jiggy. Then a purple Jinjo is in there, so we got two Jiggies. Oh, and a gold feather. Gold Jinjos. Right, just one more Jiggy. And then we also need the honeycomb pieces. Now, I know where both of them are. There's one, of course, in that cactus. And then the other, we need to find Gobi again. So. And where Gobi is, is also where we find one of the stop and swap eggs as well. Well, the entrance, uh, the door to it. But obviously, I don't need to go in there because I've already got the uh, stop and swap thing. So we got all... Right, I just need to access a flight pad. Um, top of a, uh, uh, Jinxie. Is it Jinxie? Yeah, Jinxie. Jinxie the Sphinx. Sphinx, that's it. Alright. And then I can, uh, go for the captor's hole. <laughs> right down there. Sounds like an innuendo as well, but captor's hole. <laughs> that's what it is. Okay. Uh, oh, God. Get that right there. There we go. And then last one. It's down here. Where Gobi is. There we go. Alright, and then. Ground pound Gobi again, and then he'll spit out the honeycomb. Bah! That's it! I'm leaving this dirty thing to go to get the place I'm quiet! Alright. Okay. Got the honeycomb piece there. And we got, we got more health now, so I'm not going to get that extra life there. Alright. But we need to get, but I will get those notes because I think that will be all the notes we have for this stage then, or this world, so. Uh, and then I can end the video off after this, so. Yep, there we go. I found all 100 notes in this world! Well done! Okay, got that done. Got everything done here, so... Uh, in fact, I'll get that, uh, thing in case. Alright, there we go. Okay. Right, and before we'll end- before we end the video off, I'll, uh, quickly do, um... Oh, no! Okay. Oh, that was close. That was a weird way of escaping. But I'll quickly get that uh, jiggy right there. But, oh, come on. Alright. I'll quickly get that jiggy right there. Uh, the Freeze Easy Peak jiggy that we didn't get. Uh, the, the Boggy Race one. Uh, we'll get that in the next episode. Or can we get... Oh! You can get it like that as well. So when you ground pound, you go slightly up. Uh, slightly. But not too much. Uh, I didn't know you can get it that way. So we'll do the uh, boggy race um, uh, one after um, after the um, well in the next episode. I mean, in fact, I'll get that uh, freeze easy peak secret thing up there. Uh, the jiggy there. I'll get that one next. Right. So then that's out of the way as well. There we go. Because we have these running boots now, uh, we can uh, do this for real now. Uh, the proper wait. Oh no, I'm gonna fail this, I guess. Or am I? Let's see. No, I failed. Oh my god! Because of that fail I did, 
you have to be really perfect for this. It's pretty much the only tricky thing you might think is impossible. It's not impossible, it's just very hard. Oh, no! Okay. Got that. There we go. And then we just speed through here. Alright, there we go. No! Not a backflip! I was still holding the trigger button. Oh my god. I was still holding the trigger button! Oh my god. Oh no, okay. Okay. This is for real. Okay. It, oh, actually, I think I'll actually do the, uh, the Boggy Race one in this episode. Then I can end it off in the 50 minute, in the 50 minute mark. Oh, that was so close. Alright. We can fly up here. Tootie says she's fine with me. If you go home, I'll set her free. Now you won't. Okay, 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 okay. Right, get that jiggy there. Oh, we had to see the animation. Right, we'll go to that buggy race then. Okay then, here we go. Hey buddy, fancy a race against Boggy? Press A to accept or press B to chicken out. We're gonna accept. Okay buddy, here's the rules. Run through the red slam gates and try to beat the to me to the end. Three, two, one, go. Alright, here we go. Now this one is slightly harder. Because if you go in the water, you, you lose your shoes. So you gotta be careful with that. So you just gotta Oh come on! Faster! You're not trying! I am! Alright. Right, there we go. You can go back if, if you're faster, you can go back, of course, so uh, it does not count you as cheating. Uh, but you do have to go through all of these uh, slam games, though, so you gotta, uh, come on. Uh, get out of my way! Get out of my way! We can get all, we can get the, um, feathers here. There we go, we got a lot of feathers there. And then, boom! Oh, he pushed me there. No, oh, I lost again. Take my other medal. Right. Then you don't have to race with him again. So that's the last Jiggy of Freeze ECP. Alright, here we go. Here we go. We got all ten Jiggies here. So, <laughs> what the hell, Banjo? What is that? <laughs> okay, that is so funny. Okay, so we got Freeze Easy Peak done, and then uh, Gobi's Valley done. We've beaten Gobi's Valley faster than Freeze Easy Peak. Oh my god. Okay, that is interesting. Okay, so that will be it for today's episode, guys. Next time in Ban on Banjo Kazooie, we will tackle our Mad Monster Mansion. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Video game jam poop out. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!